Hi everyone and welcome to a new Civilization 5 game. So this will be more of a standard game, although it's still heavily modded, meaning there's nothing standard about it technically, but it's not based on Vox Populi like the previous one. So you'll see a lot more vanilla game mechanics. But I am using several mods that I never used previously, and I'm using mods that change quite a lot. So for example, one of the mods I'm using changes pretty much all the policies, because I played with the default policies so many times, I got like, I don't know, 50 games with Brave New World default policies. So I wanted to try something different, and this one looks pretty good. I already tested it on Twitch briefly, which you might or might not have seen. I am also using a mod that changes pantheons, and it makes it more fair to compete for religion initially. The pantheon always has the same cost, like in Civ 6, and every pantheon has an opportunity for extra faith. And there are multiple other mods. I'm still using Enlightenment Era mod, because I quite enjoy that one, but I'm also using Future Worlds mod, which adds an extra era at the end of the game, the Future Era. It has quite a lot of technology in there, it has a lot of units, it has its own strategic resource. It's a pretty interesting one. And in order to actually be able to see that, because I don't want the game to end before the Future Era, and that can happen quite easily, I disabled cultural and diplomatic victories, because these are the two that are most likely to happen before we even get a chance to get to that point, which would make it kind of pointless to use this mod to begin with, if the game ends before we even get a chance to see it. I'm also using artificial unintelligence mod, which makes the AI play much better, and this is the reason why I lowered difficulty to Immortal. The difficulty should still be roughly the same, maybe even a little bit harder, because artificial intelligence does make the AI play way better, but it should make the overall difficulty curve a bit smoother, because I'm not giving every other Civ an extra settler to start the game with. And we will be playing on Epic Game Pace, on a Pangea map, and the Civ we will be playing are the Olmec, this is a pretty interesting one. This is a sieve from one of the sieve packs I'm also using with this game. All the mods I'm using will be linked in the video description if you want to check them out. So the most interesting part about the Olmec is the Colossal Head Great Tally improvement. I thought this is a really interesting dynamic. So it's not just a normal tile improvement, it's a dynamic tile improvement, so to speak. You can use this improvement with any great person, except great admiral, and the yields will depend on the exact great person that you use. And there's an example included here, so if we get a great prophet, we can get either a holy site, which will give us the usual plus 6 faith, or we can get a colossal head, which will give us plus 4 science and plus 3 faith, so half of holy site yield. And if we get a great scientist or a great general, we will get plus 2 golden age points instead of the additional yield. So I'm quite looking forward to this one. And I think that's about it. We also got a unique unit which replaces the spearman, and it will earn science for defeating enemy units. But it's a pretty weak unit, so it might be a little bit hard to put it to good use. Still, that's our unique unit. And we got the unique ability. After researching Calendar, your civilization enters Venus Cycles, which increases great people generation rate by 25%, and earns plus one tourism for every technology researched but not yet discovered by another civilization. So let's get started, shall we? Genius people. So people. let's take a look at our starting location. We got Jungle. I think Jungle is actually the start bias for this sieve, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Well, we got gold, so that's not too bad. Any mining-based luxury is a good thing. I'm considering moving one tile in this direction to try to escape that jungle a little bit, and we'll also get bananas in range if we move across. So let's move across the river, and we'll settle on this side. We might be moving away from something, but that's okay. 75 gold. Well, if we really wanted to, we could move even further, but I don't want to go overboard. I think this is acceptable. Alright then, the downside is that we won't have a good growth tile initially. Or we can just buy the luxury here. Yep, let's do that. 
that will give us a nice growth tile. Alright, so first we'll get a scout. We are definitely going to need one. And we'll start from pottery, because I'd like to get a shrine ASAP. One of the goals will be to get a religion. But we'll see about that. We got some silk over here. Okay, there's not too much jungle, which is a good thing. I was a little bit worried about that. We got another ruin. Ferdy culture, nice. So, like I mentioned, I am using a mod that changes pretty much all the policies. To make things a little bit more interesting and different. As you'll see in just a moment. So. Some of the policies are still the same, but most are different. What do we want to go for? Even Paite is a valid opener now. We could try to go for Paite. So, adopting Paite would give us plus two culture from shrines, plus two faith in the capital. Adopting all Paite policies would give us a bonus reformation belief and plus six science from holy sites. We can also get plus 100% production bonus when building shrines and temples, plus two faith from temples. And, and tourism bonus to civilizations that share the religion. We got Mount of Paite, I quite like this one. Plus 50% range for land trade routes, plus 4 gold from land trade routes, and plus 1 production in cities for each religion with at least one follower. Then we got Ordained Priesthood, minus 25% faith costs for religious units and buildings, Gain a plus one citizen when a missionary or inquisitor is purchased. This one is pretty damn nice. Just think about it. Plus one citizen every time we buy a missionary or an inquisitor. That's so good for population. Then we got plus one happiness from shrines and temples. Plus four happiness from the Grand Temple and the Writer's Guild. I think we'll give it a shot. Why the heck not? Tradition is quite interesting, though. It is different. So, for example, legalism would now give us an engineer, merchant, and scientist specialist slots in our capital. But let's go for piety. Here, done. Okay, then, so now we definitely want to go for a religion. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Wouldn't make any sense not to when we just went for piety. So, we found our first neighbor, Assyria. Okay. I wonder how close he is. Probably pretty damn close, because this is only turn 8. Plus one population? Yeah, we can work the gold. One food, one production, two gold. Yeah, that's fine. Works for me. Let's go and find some more ruins. That would be nice. And what's next? We can start a monument and then switch to a shrine. Or we can let the monument finish. Oh, a natural wonder, nice. Well, it's not the best natural wonder ever. But it's not terrible with extra happiness. Okay. It's pretty damn close, too. We'll probably settle over here at some point. We'll see. It's a little bit too early to think about a settler. But we'll take a look around. That's a lot of desert. We got a city-state and we are the first ones to make contact with it. Because we got the full gold amount. Any more ruins down here? Give me more ruins. Would be nice to get a tag for free. So there's pottery. And Korea is our neighbor. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But okay. So let's get mining. And I'm going to switch to a shrine. I'd like to get that done ASAP. So we got a ruin. Let's grab that before Korea picks it up. Give me a tech. Thanks. Upgraded our unit. Yeah, that's actually fine. He is now an archer. Hey, that's going to come in handy for sure. Now he can get upgraded all the way. And another ruin. Plus one population. Nice one. Unfortunately, we don't have a good tile to work. We could buy one. Yeah, you know what? Let's buy that. Here. More growth. 
We got more gold to the southeast. And we got sailing. Not the most useful tech of all times in our current situation, but hey, it's a tech for free. <laughs> Can't complain about that. It's better than revealing nearby barbarian sites, that's for sure. Oh, and there's another ruin over there. Well, I'm not sure if we can get to that one quickly enough. Anyway, Pantheon. So, a lot of the Pantheons are different here. Every Pantheon gives you some opportunity to get Fate. Now, what do we actually want? We want to be able to get early Fate from this. Because the goal is to get a religion. So, something that will give us Fate early on. Let's see. Plus two faith in cities with a population of six or higher. That would work, we will get six population pretty quickly. Especially with all these high food tiles in range. What else? We don't know if we have iron in range, so now I am not playing with strategic resources here. We don't have wine or incense. We don't have food, I mean furs or truffles. Plus to faith from walls. It's not a high priority building for us right now. Plus to faith from barracks. Plus five production from heroic epic. That's an interesting one. Goro ship would work nicely with tradition, but we didn't go for that. We do have two tiles with bananas in range, so that could give us plus two faith, but we would have to get these tiles. And they are out of range right now. It would cost us a lot of gold to buy them. And I don't really see any more bananas. Just this one. And one tile with wheat. I don't think this one would be worth it for us right now. What else do we have here? None of these are amazing for us right now, to be honest. Plus free faith from natural wonders. Well... There is a natural wonder nearby, but we won't be settling it that quickly. Plus one faith from cows. There are cows, but not in range of our city. Plus two faith from water mills. Faith from marble. Faith from stone and stoneworks. So what do we want to go for? None of these are too amazing, to be honest. I think I'll go for fertility rights. Where was it? Right here. Plus two faith in cities with a population of six and higher. Let's go for that one. So now we need to get six population as soon as possible. That's probably going to involve buying the bananas. Yep, most certainly. Okay, we got a barbarian camp pretty close. We can probably get rid of that. Just with the archer. But I want to go and try getting that ruin to the west. I'm surprised nobody picked it up yet. Or maybe they did. And we'll find out when we get there. But let's actually go and get there. Barbarians can wait. We can get there pretty quickly too. So, next research should probably be animal husbandry. We want to know where horses are. We might have some in range. So, let's go. Two turns to finish the shrine, then we'll get the monument, and then we'll see. It would be nice to steal a worker from somebody, but I don't know if that's going to happen. We could try to steal one from Assyria. Now this looks extremely tempting. Oh, and here's another sieve. That's one of the sieves from the sieve pack that I'm using. Yeah, this looks incredibly tempting, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even see any military units. We could get away with this. I think we're going to do it. It will also hurt Assyria early on. So, worth it. Let's just straight up declare war. Here. I'll take your worker, thanks. And we can attack the warrior. I assume he's going to kill the barbarian archer. We can get away quite easily. Because this is a former scout, so he ignores terrain cost. Yep, let's attack that guy. And we can actually stay at war for a bit. We can pillage some of these improvements back here. Yeah, we could pillage. Let's do that. 
here and then we can move all right then and we can get some experience because why not i'm glad we got our squad promoted this is going to help just follow that guy i will send the worker with an escort i wouldn't want him to get captured by barbarians or something like that that would be bad as much as i wanted to pillage the gems this will be pretty nice experience for us he already got level 2 nice let's keep moving okay now it's time to back up but we got our promotion barrage and now we can back up monument is almost done what should we get next i wouldn't mind another warrior now that we are at war so i suppose we could do that it's not exactly the greatest military unit of all time but it's better than nothing and we can upgrade him in the future speaking of upgrading things let's get bronze working this will reveal iron and it will also unlock our unique unit we definitely want that and we should reveal this terrain to the southeast a little bit the worker can go improve the gold all right then we still got that barbarian camp to the southeast we could go get rid of it let's heal arionis back to full now next policy we can grab organized religion it won't really do much just yet but the other two won't really do anything either i'd like to wait with that golden age a little bit so organize religion so grab the gold that will take a while how many turns to chop the forest four turns okay we could use that to speed something up like a granary yeah sounds good we want six population as soon as possible meaning we kind of want a granary asap and we need to buy some good growth tiles meaning the bananas here looks good with the granary we should get six population pretty quickly and then we'll get extra faith from the pantheon so let's move this will do i'm not really worried about Assyria attacking us he doesn't have any advanced units right now we can probably peace out pretty soon hey. not just yet but he's not going to do much and our units are close enough our archer can ignore terrain costs he can go back and help our city if needed we got another ai would be nice to get friendly with some of them but this is a little bit too early we got venice in this game okay oh and venice is the leader in population all right that's a bit surprising there's the gold 37 and right we are done chopping the forest seven turns to finish the granary and then we'll start a settler i guess it will be a pretty late settler but that's okay i want that granary done faster although i suppose the granary doesn't matter too much while we are recruiting a settler so you know what let's get the settler now we can speed him up a little bit or can we actually no not really it's going to be 20 turns regardless all right it might be a little bit faster once we finish the mine but i don't think we'll save more than like one or two turns max where is the city actually going to be I would really like to settle over here because look at all these resources but i'm not totally convinced it's going to be safe it should be fine if we get some more military units let's see if assyria has any units in that area but this is clearly the best location we got around here that doesn't mean i don't want the natural wonder but this location is not nearly as good and it's one of the worst natural wonders it's just low priority archer next i wouldn't mind another archer or two okay 
Oh, and where's Iron? A little bit to the northeast, a little bit to the south. Okay. So, not a lot of Iron around here. I expected to see more. We'll probably want to grab both sources. But if we don't settle this location quickly, Assyria almost certainly will. I can pretty much guarantee that's going to happen. It's just so good. Hey, we can go and pillage some of their improvements. Because it's not like we have anything better to do. We most certainly do not. Okay, will this speed up the settler? Yes, by one turn. Okay. Better than nothing, I'll take it. How's that mine coming along? Three more turns. Spain, another sieve in the game. We need to make contact with one more. So let's pillage the gems, shall we? Okay, more units around here. Might want to be careful about this. I don't think it's safe to pillage the gems. No, not really. But hey, we got a promotion. Let's stay here for one turn. Can we peace out yet? Hey. Nope, not yet. But he will probably accept soon. Let's back up slightly. I got what I wanted out of this, which is the worker. And we slowed him down. Which is pretty important because he's our neighbor. We'll probably want to conquer him early. That would definitely be a good idea. But first we'll need to have a proper military, which right now we most certainly do not. Now, we don't have calendar just yet, so we can go and improve the horses. Then we could sell the horses to make some more gold. Because we are going to need the gold. I'll probably want to get 550 gold to be able to buy a library. That way we'll be able to speed up the National College a little bit. By buying a library in the last city before National College construction. Anyway, next policy, we'll go for Mandate of Heaven, because then we can grab Theocracy after that. For a little bit of extra happiness. Here. Alright then. And next up, either Calendar or Writing. I do want Calendar ASAP to be able to start selling the luxuries. So calendar and then writing after that. He's coming with a settler. Okay, we can't let him have this location. Absolutely not. Not in a million years. Okay, well, this might get a little bit tricky. We can take a shot. I don't think I will be able to kill that warrior quickly enough. Wait, he's actually moving east. Okay, well, that's a good thing. He wants the iron. I bet that's where he's going. We are going to need a serious war with this guy. Yeah, I can't stop him. No, I can't. We don't have enough damage right now. I will have to back up myself, otherwise we'll get killed. Alright, let's back up then. Because we'll get killed otherwise. Not happy about this. But our settler is coming. Oh, now he's going north. Yep, he's going to settle right here. I can't blame him. It's such a good location. But I can't say I'm happy about it. Yep, this is where he's going. That's pretty obvious. I think we can kill him now. Here. Now, I might lose the warrior as a result, but you know what? That's fine. Whatever. Here. If only we could peace out right now, that would be amazing. And hey, we got an extra worker out of this. We still can't. Alright, let's go west. As much as I want the iron, I want to secure this location right here. Just be careful about warriors he has in there. Because they are definitely in there somewhere. We just can't see them right now. Hopefully we'll be able to peace out soon. Wait, what? Venice declared war on us? And Spain declared war on us. That's slightly unexpected, but alright. We still can't peace out. Let's stay where we are and heal up a little bit. 
Okay, we got a warrior incoming. Yeah, let's stay here and heal up. And send the settler. We should be able to peace out soon. He's moving away. Okay, good. I'm going to keep the worker here. He can get started on improvements as soon as our settler arrives. We will finish calendar roughly around the same time. And we'll keep healing up our units. This is a pretty good start so far. Okay, where exactly do we want that city? I'm thinking on top of the hill. It will be relatively close to our capital, so it will be easier to reinforce. It will have pretty much all the resources in range. It will be next to a river. Yep, that will be the location. That seems like the best option we have. Okay then. And once we get full health, we might go and try pillaging some resources. Not a bad idea. Certainly wouldn't mind hurting his economy a bit more. Horses connected for a city-state. Oh, nice. That's a maritime city-state. We could give them some gold, but we can't exactly afford that right now. I'm afraid. France is also in the game. Good to know. So, let's start the city. And the first thing we'll get will be the shrine. Since we want that religion. That is still our main focus. Now, we can't get the plantation yet, but it's one turn away. And we can start chopping the forest, or we can get the horses. So that we are able to sell them. Speaking of selling things... Let's see, who is going to buy some horses? Not that we have a lot. I don't think we'll get more than one gold for one horse. Oh, actually, yes, we will. Nice one. Okay, that will help our economy a little bit. Because it's not exactly amazing at the moment. I might get that mine right now, although now we should go and start getting the luxuries. We still can't piss out. That is a little bit weird, but okay. I don't mind, we just need to be careful to not get our worker captured. That's the main reason I'm a little bit reluctant to go here. But we should be okay, just need to be careful, like I said. So, I can't attack anything from here. Right now, I mostly want to pillage his improvements. That's why I'm moving towards his capital. And maybe get extra experience. I wouldn't mind extra experience. Oh, another worker we could potentially steal. Nice. Okay. If we can get one more worker from him, that would be amazing. Nope, not interested. Sorry, bro. Looks like he ran away. Well, I can't blame him, I guess. I would have done the same. We can hit the city, we can hit the warrior. He does have an archer inside the city. So it won't be very safe staying here. Not for long anyway. Here, okay, we can peace out. Will he actually pay us? Well, probably not. I think we should probably peace out. Because he might be able to kill our archer. If he was a city bombardment, the archer and also the warrior all at the same time, he will probably kill our archer. Let's just peace out. We got what we wanted. Here. Now we should probably get another settler ASAP. First religion founded. In Venice. Venice is doing quite well in here. That's almost surprising. They have the highest population out of anyone in this game right now. What the heck? That is just bizarre. <laughs> Alright. Which policy tree did they go for? Piety. Same as us. Okay. Well then. So, settler next. Obviously. Yep, definitely settler. And then we'll work on getting six population. But first, third city. Let's see, 11 turns. I don't think we can make it any faster than that. Nope, 11 turns it is then. Alright, that's good enough for me. Now, where exactly do we want our third city? We definitely want some iron. 
Now, Assyria is very likely to settle right here if we don't grab that location. However, we would be better off grabbing the copper to the northeast. That is an objectively better city. On the other hand, it might not be a bad idea to have at least one coastal city. I would like to get both, but we can't get both with our next settler. Another religion. Okay, three more religions are still available. We need more faith and quickly. I'm working on it, okay? So let's explore to the north a little bit. Plus one population, good. How's that pasture coming along? A few more turns. Yeah, it will take a while to improve the luxuries on the Django tiles because we have to remove the Django and that takes a pretty long time, unfortunately. We got some barbarians incoming. Oh, they might pillage the pasture. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing because that will break the trade that we got going. Unfortunately, it wasn't a trade for flat gold. So it doesn't really make a difference. There has to be a barbarian camp somewhere nearby. So what's next? Probably the wheel. I don't think there's any march nearby. Well, there's one, but no resources on top of it. We can get some embassies now. Where is Korea? Over here. On the other side of this desert, basically. Where do you think you're going? You pillaged my crap and now you're leaving? Oh, no, you don't. Two turns to finish the shrine. We need to unlock the temples as soon as possible. Because we can get them much faster than usual. Come on, kill that guy. Here. And let's go find that barbarian camp. It has to be close. Now, do we buy the silk? I think we do. Or we can buy the cattle, but I think I'd rather buy the silk right now. Because, you know, it's a luxury. Yep, let's grab that. Then we can probably get the horses. There are so many tides we'll need around this city. It's crazy. So, next up, monument. To make the border expand a little bit faster. Jungle is almost removed. Napoleon is down here. So, he's basically Assyria's neighbor. I wouldn't be surprised if he went after Assyria at some point. I almost expect that, to be honest. So, plantation. And we'll have to repair the horses. Just need a worker over there. Well, it will have to wait. It's kind of a low priority right now. Improving luxuries is going to be way more important. I'm not seeing a barbarian camp. Well, that barbarian clearly came from somewhere. Let's scout out these tiles. See what's in there. Oh yeah, we are still at war with Spain, and I don't really want to be. Just say fortified. It's not like she can do a whole lot against a fortified unit. We can send our archer scout back. Six turns to get the plantation. And oh yeah, we are chopping the forest, which will speed up the monument. Yep, that's exactly what we want. And Asur is already under siege, or at least it lost a little bit of health there. Who is he at war with? Yeah, he's at war with France. I knew it. France will try to take the city. Not surprising. There's a pretty good chance they will succeed, because we weakened him quite a bit. Next up, we can get a little bit of extra happiness. Hey, France, where do you think you're going? Assur is that way. Is he planning to declare war on us? He doesn't desire our land. So, I don't think so, but you never know. He's crazy. Can we peace out yet? Nope. Well, alright then. So, philosophy next to get the temples. Now we need six population ASAP. Let's change some tile assignments here to focus more on food. Unfortunately, I can't buy any new tiles right now. 
Well, this is not exactly the most optimal assignment of all times, however, it will give us 6 population faster. In 10 turns exactly. So we are going with it. I would normally work the gold, but in this case we really want 6 population as soon as we can possibly get it. Now the settler, where do we send him? I'm thinking east. Well, northeast. We can get two sources of copper. We can get the iron. We'll have a mountain in range, which might come in handy in the future. The alternative is settling a coastal city down here. Which might also come in handy, we don't know the shape of this map. It is a Pangaea map, but having a coastal city would still be useful regardless. And we'll also get iron. Yeah, you know what, let's get that coastal city first. Because I'd like to have at least one. I don't think Assyria will be settling there, they are a little bit too busy fighting Napoleon. It looks like Napoleon might wipe them out. I pretty much expect that to happen right now. Oh hi, barbarians. Well then, there has to be a camp somewhere nearby. Time to back up. So, hold on, which exact tile do we want? Well, probably this one. Not that it makes a huge difference. We could settle on top of the horses, I normally don't do that. But in this case, it might actually make sense. Sort of. Because if we settle here, we won't have the wheat in range. And I would like to have that in range for growth. This is actually a pretty tough decision. I'm going to settle on top of the horses. Again, I normally don't do that, but I think in this case, it's justified and it makes sense. Kill that Spanish warrior over there. Can we still not peace out? Nope. Apparently not. So there's the monument, next up we are going to need a library. Because of National College. And, well, we are also going to need 300, uh, not 300, 550 gold to get a library in our newest city. Unless we want to hard build it, but I don't really want to do that. It will take a little bit too long to hard build it. I don't think we can afford to wait that long. We need a declaration of friendship with someone. I don't care who, but we need it with someone. Someone should have accepted sooner or later. No, he won't do it. He is friendly, but that doesn't necessarily mean much. He's Napoleon. Him being friendly doesn't mean anything at all. Apparently this is not the time for negotiation. If you say so. They might change their mind once we sell them some resources. Oh, more barbarians coming from the north. We need to go and get rid of whatever barbarian camp they are spawning from. Probably somewhere in the desert, if I had to guess. Yeah, now he's going to pillage the gold, damn it. That's a bit irritating. Let's just move our worker in this direction right away. He's going to be needed over there. How's the tech count right now? 14 on Assyria, 13 on Spain, we got 10. Okay, Venice has 16. Really? Venice is the leader in this game, are you serious? What the heck, Venice? That's like Venice on crack or something like that. Yeah, he's going to pillage the gold, I can't stop him. Well, we'll just repair it. We can however kill him, but after he pillages our gold, unfortunately. We will not drop into the negatives because we are about to finish the silk. Well, we'll drop into the negatives for one turn. I can live with that. One turn is nothing. He will die on the next turn. That's a lot of barbarian ships. Here's another city-state. Yeah, Assur is going to fall. I'm pretty sure France is going to conquer it. 
And if not, we can move in and conquer it ourselves. That is definitely what I'm going to do if France fails to take it. Right now, we don't really have the units for it. We know where your capital is, but we can accept the embassy, fine. Napoleon completed Statue of Zeus, okay. Interesting. I don't like that too much. So who and for what? Piety for Venice, Piety for Pakal, Liberty for Napoleon, Liberty again, Honor for Korea, Honor for Spain, Piety, right, that's us. And Honor for Assyria, okay then. Three more religions are still available. Well, carry on then. And oh. Our assignments got moved? What happened here? We should be working that luxury to the south. Here. And one more. There, six turns for city growth. Oh yeah, this city won't have any good tiles to work. Unless we buy the wheat, but then we'll end up bankrupt pretty quickly. I can't afford to do that. I guess we'll have to delay the city growth slightly. Well, I'm not happy about that, but it is what it is. Okay, well, that will do. Now, what's next? I can't really buy any tiles because we don't have the gold. And I might end up just hard building that library, unless we can get a declaration of friendship with someone and sell some luxuries for 360 gold. That's what we'll have to do. <laughs> That's what we need to do, basically. Otherwise, this is going to be a problem. However, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, let me know what you think about this setup so far, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.